Good morning guys, it's Andy from Motos Caves and Coffee. Today I'm going to be talking about two special vehicles. I got my dream vehicle, a 1986 Dodge Ram Charger. And what I ended up doing, I sold my 2015 Ram 1500 pickup and sold it and bought this guy. And so we're going to talk a little bit about this. I've been searching low and high to find this one. It's a 1986 Dodge Ram Charger. I bought it. Uh, sight unseen from North Carolina. It looks to be an old highway patrol vehicle as you can tell from the sticker there. It looks very very rust free except for two small areas. Got one little tiny bit of rust right there. Just about that size. I got a couple dents and scratches. You can tell the paint's very very faded on it. But overall, the condition is very nice. The underside is completely rust free, and uh, that's really good. Um, it has a 318. It's been converted to a four barrel. I got all the same parts for it. Um, it leaks, it smokes, it pulls pretty good, but it's okay. Um, I've done some work to it, but let's take a look all around the Ram Charger really quickly until I got new wheels for it. see all around the Ram Charger. Again, in really nice shape. This side's just as good as the other side. The paint's really faded, but again, one small little rust spot about that big and nowhere else. Uh, mirrors are kind of Ford style mirrors. I'm not a big fan of these, but they're okay. We'll take a look at the front here real quick. Easy shape with one little bend in the bumper, but the bumper's pitted and old. So I'm going to get under the hood. I'm going to pop the hood. We'll take a look inside of it. Alright. So there's a 318 engine. This is really cool right here. You can see if you get a close up of, uh, that's an equipment card. They don't come like that anymore. But let me talk about the 318. It runs really smoothly. It starts pretty good. New battery, it has an Edelbrock intake, four barrel intake, new water pump, new carburetor. Um, I think it was maybe a plow truck or siren at one time. There's some stuff in here, I'm not sure. I just put a new rag, uh, new Borgeson steering shaft, new ball joints, and tie rod ends, and new tires, and alignment. So it drives pretty good. Uh, let's take a look at the interior real quick. This is probably one of the better parts. It has power windows. This side works for this window, that side works for this window, but this one doesn't work for that window. I put a new headliner in. It has a roll bar. I'm sure these seats are pretty torn up. And you can see the dash, a little bit of wiring issues. Let me show you the back. I bought this because I still wanted to haul arcade games in it. I put new struts in there. Um, and I think I'll be able to do that. It has one of these seats where you can lean it forward. Ugh. And put the whole seat up if you need to. I think I could put an arcade game in here. Um, I'd love to get some new carpet in there, or at least clean it, and um, has a little pop top vent up here, leaking a little bit, so I'd like to get that fixed up a little bit, but that's cool. 
I'm not sure of the gearing. I think it's 323 rear end gearing. Back doesn't close too well. Um, I'm gonna show you underneath, so let me grab the camera. All right, obviously towing, it's been done. Very, very clean underneath. No rust, muffler shot. Brakes seem pretty good. Everything underneath looks really good. New drive shaft it looks like, but that's not my goal. The 318 sputters does not pull very good. So the 318 sputters, it doesn't pull very good. I've tried to haul arcade games or motorcycles and it does not pull very good. <laughs> it, it seems to knock. So we're gonna try and fix that and I'll show you exactly what I did and, and hopefully this will be one of a kind and get it running good. So let's go check that out. So this is part two of the equation. This is my 2000 Ram 2500. You can see it's not quite as rust free as a Ram charger. Quite the opposite, it was a farm truck. But I'm gonna tell you why I got this. What makes it special is very low miles, 77,000 miles, 76,000 miles. It was a farm truck. And here's why I got it. V10, Magnum V10. I want to put this engine into the Ram Charger. It may have been done once or twice, I don't know. It's the same basic block, two extra cylinders on there. Um, so I want to swap this out at a minimum and the four-speed transmission instead of the three-speed transmission. I'm going to show you what the engine looks like in the inside. You can take a look around this thing. It has a side door, long bed, again, 2500. This thing drives like a champ. Transmission is slipping though. There's the interior. Ugh. Hasn't started in months and it starts right up. 76,778 miles. I'd love to that in the ram charger. Let's pop the hood. You can tell the uh, the muffler shot. Very rusty. There's the motor. The alternator. Um, V10. I think they had 300 horsepower, 450 pounds of torque. Um, I'd like 400 horsepower. I think there's some mods you can do to do that, but at a very minimum, I'd love to just do that swap. Get air conditioning. Ram Charger doesn't have air conditioning on there right now. Uh, maybe swap the axles out. I don't know if it would be easier that way or just swap the engine in. Um, but yeah. And who knows? Maybe put the 318 in this so I can still a haul arcade games in this one. I don't know. But I think the matchup would be fantastic rolling around in a V10 Ram Charger. It just doesn't happen. Uh, you never see those. So I'd love to get that done, be able to haul arcade games in it. And uh, that's it. So we'll take a look at the garage next. So this is my garage. It's a two-stall two -star garage of where I can do my work, my truck. Um, right now, it's full with motorcycles and arcade games. Um, I'll show you around in them. They can go, they can move other places. Um, so we can have some room to work in the garage, but let me show you what the garage looks like right now. All right, so as you can see, it's, uh, it's quite a lot of space. It is taken up by motorcycles and arcade games. Um, I fixed the arcades and motorcycles, put them on my channel, motos, caves, and coffee, sell some of them, a lot going storage. I was hoping to get in my arcade. Um, pinballs, some really rare ones, some really cool arcade games, Space Invaders, Ghostbusters, I make my own arcade games as well, nice little Pac-Man, there's the fabric I use for the headliner, my sidecar, the Royal Enfield, my Harley, Little Rider, and my Harley arcade game.